What's good, superstars? Back with another Disney Pinnacle video. You got superstar Joe. You got superstar Rob in the building. How's it going, Rob? We got you. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Rocking one of my new shirts again. You got Mickey Mouse going perfect for this Disney, Disney Pinnacle video. Guys, if you're new here, do not forget. Become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button down below. Hit the bell notification so you know whenever we talk about some Disney Pinnacle. Um, you can also become a superstar VIP 29 a month. Hit the join button down below. Get one of those stars next to your name. Enter into the giveaways every single month. End of every single month, we're doing giveaways for the superstar fam. Follow us on X. Follow us on Instagram. Join the Discord. Discord is where you'll let us know anything that you did to get extra entries into those giveaways and also meet the rest of the fam we have a great honor of having alan the the product team in our discord actively under disney pinnacle so if you do have questions um it's a nice little spot for you to go ask some of them and uh he's pretty pretty active so uh we're very appreciative of that yeah and uh guys just remember another thing too we do have a security challenge going on right now thanks to rich um right now we're in week one i think the draw uh he wants to do it tomorrow so if you guys can go ahead and get wallet guard any kind of uh, browser extension wallet guard is one of them that we like um to help protect you when you're doing anything web3 on the internet and if you can remove your phone number from any kind of website because no one really needs to know your phone number on the internet if you can do these things you can go into our discord under the security chat uh we have a new thread there you can go you can drop down and let us know you did be entered to a uh, chance to win a gift uh i guess tomorrow and this is coming directly from rich so shout out rich for, for being uh, so so kind to do this donation and if you guys join like like if you go there we got we've got a video on it there's a, a, a doc a word document of all the rules there's all these different security things you can do just enter in our chat show us that you did these challenges and you can win some pretty cool prizes yeah i mean you're doing yourself a favor by by entering look at some of the prizes here that are shown um and i noticed that rich has also been gathering other security experts from the space and bringing them into our discord so we have nft drew is in there who's a avid on on x uh regarding i think like almost ten thousand followers um and then there's a bunch of other great uh great security guys in there so definitely go check it out learn a little bit of something could help protect yourself protect your bags uh for the future and also have a chance to win some cool prizes so thank you again to rich for uh doing this for the community yep and that's it's gonna be good so it's gonna run for five weeks guys make sure you join yep uh okay so Let's go. We do a Disney Pinnacle video. We got to talk some Diamond NFL uh, posts. If you guys are not following Diamond, he has like some of the most detailed posts when it comes to Disney Pinnacle. He's a lot. He's letting us all know here that Disney Pinnacle announced a new trade event for and set completion. The trade event is August second, three p.m. to August third, three p.m. So you're getting twenty four hours of trading coming up tomorrow. Uh, and this is Pacific, so it will be 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, set completion. Organize and track your progress by placing your digital pins into set cards. You can access this as a new tab in the My Pin screen. So you're getting a little bit of a new feature here um, in, in uh, the Disney Pinnacle app to help you organize your pins. Very cool. That's very cool. And these trade events, I'm, I'm not sure when they will officially have uh just trading active all the time i think they were getting to that <clears throat> they talked a lot about a global release although it feels to me that it's pretty globally released at this point um but i know there were some rumors that'd be in november so i think that maybe some things like trading may come in fully at that point but until then this trading event seemed to be uh, bringing in a crowd well we do know that we might get some <laughs> announcements hashtag soon soon with the d23 event that is coming up uh, here, I believe it's in August. Um, so with that, we've gotten some sneak peeks into the layout of the floor at the at D23. Again, it's in Anaheim at the Anaheim Convention Center. There's a bunch of different booths, a bunch of different places uh, outlined over here. Uh, you see Mickey. This is, this is basically going to be those flyers that they give out, it looks like. So on the back page, they have the whole map. Uh, and it's got all the things on the side here. You can't really see this, and I can't really zoom in on it. So uh, what I could do is I could show it in full full form like this if you want to see, and you can just track my mouse. I don't know if you can even see my mouse uh, on Not this really. format. I don't think you can. I think, Not really. Yeah, so anyways, um, if you look in, in the bottom, or sorry, in the middle there, you got pin store. It's, it's hard to see there. Like It's in yeah. the middle. It's in purple. You can see pin store. Um, hold that there. Then, hold that there. Yeah. I'll have, I, I have an idea. I have an idea. So yeah. what we're going to do quickly is just we're going to switch over to my screen here. You have a, a layout tool. You can write over it. Yeah, I'm just going to quickly just bring up my screen. Hold on. This is live. So that, <laughs> so that, all right. So 
They're right over here. They're right over there. That's All that's right. Disney Pinnacle. So yeah, they're right below yeah. the the Disney Pin Store. Right. Um, yeah. So we'll, hi cool. we'll highlight we'll highlight it. Exactly. So why is this a big deal? Um, I mean, we've had a lot of speculation on this channel that Pinnacle will have ties to the physical stores at the parks, bringing this type of NFT technology into um, into the the real collectors hands i mean people who we do know how disney uh, how disney pin trading <clears throat> is such a big following a lot of people enjoy it there's people who make youtube videos there's people who um are on forums there's forums about it people looking to collect uh you can buy sell trade everything physical on on ebay on facebook market all this stuff like there's a very very big following when it comes to to physical pins and it just makes sense that disney pinnacle somehow ties in to the physical market at some point and i guess it being right next to the disney pin store booth uh i think is, is it, it kind of speaks volumes in my opinion because you're there and then right beside you is like ravensburger who is the disney larkana um and it's just it's just things that disney has pushed uh in their parks in their stores uh, all that stuff is is around and in around that booth uh, so I think it's I think it's pretty telling that where this thing might be going. Well, this is what I like about it in terms of bringing in new users. They're pretty smart because they put their booth directly across the physical pins. Now we know physical pin collecting is a massive deal in uh, in the Disney World. Uh, you know, there's a store right beside Disney World that I went to, which is has plenty and plenty of of these pins, and they range in all different prices. So there's a serious culture for pin collecting. So why not put the digital pin store? which is Disney Pinnacle, immediately across from the, from the physical one. As these collectors go to the physical side, you're going to say, oh, hey, buddy, why don't you come over here and take a look at uh, what we have to offer. We're digital collecting. You might be interested. Some of those very, very unique ones that you like, we're going to replicate one day. Or maybe you're going to say we got new exclusive ones that you could only get digitally. We're, gonna, we're offering them here and we can do different things with them. So I think it's a great way to market. And I love that it's beside Lorcana because we know how Lorcana is being promoted. Lorcana is actually in Disney stores. They have yep. a very, very, they're intertwined very, very deeply uh, at the Disney parks. <clears throat> so, and you know, Lorcana seems to be something that people really enjoy. Uh, so I, I think it's a great spot for them. D23 is a big deal. I mean, it's not going to just automatically transform the app, but I think it's a great way to get your word out, to get the word out to people who will very likely be interested in Disney Pinnacle, which are the physical pin collectors, because those are the diehards, right? Those are the people who are into this stuff the most. Yeah, and if I want to bring this back up here, I, again, bottom right of your screen, you will see <laughs> like a golden Mickey Mouse. It says D23 Gold Member by Disney Plus subscriber offer spots, and this is next to the Disney Pinnacle uh, name on the right there on the list. It has one of those golden Mickey ears, meaning that they should have some kind of special offer for D23 Gold members and D. Uh, Disney Plus subscribers. So you go to that booth, there might be something special for people uh, that are that are gold members or Disney Plus subscribers. So that's also something pretty cool because what could that be? Like if you're going there, are you going to get a special digital pin or is it? could it be the first ever physical Disney Pinnacle pins? Is that what we're going to see here? Um, and that would be incredible. I think you'd start to get a lot of eyeballs on this space if there's this type of token gating. I know that, I know that we've heard Alan say some contrary things in our Discord. Um, but I know that Alan likes to he likes he likes to leave some breadcrumbs from time to time. He likes to to spread some confusion around in the in the air to keep people guessing. And uh, I think it does a good job of that. But I think it just makes way too much sense that they're right across from the physical pin store. They're right next to Ravensburger, who's running Lorcana. They have a special offer for going to that booth. Uh, I think I think it's just a matter of time before we start to see Disney Pinnacle like fully enthralled in the Disney culture, Disney pin collecting culture. And uh, it's just so exciting to see them on this stage and uh, very excited for, to see what, what comes with this. But why not go digital, right? Like if you're Disney Pinnacle, why not really push hard to partner with the physical Disney pins? Because that's your core user base. Right now, you got a whole bunch of NFT DGENs, uh, you know, that are coming into this. A lot of dapper people who are into NFTs who are part of uh, NFL all day. So you got a lot of people who are interested in the NFTs. Now, I also have noticed online that there are definitely people who are physical pin collectors, but based on our discord, 
And what we see in our Discord, that is the that is the minority. That is the very, very small minority that actually come from a, a physical pin collecting background. They exist. They're in our Discord. But the majority of people, I think, are there for the NFT aspect of it. So why not do a fidgetal start bringing in more of that crowd, which should ultimately be someone that very likely could be converted over from that physical space into that digital space? Because this is what they like. They're into this. They're collectors. They love collecting physical stuff. So I, I think there's a lot of opportunity here for, for Disney Pinnacle. I think if they could find a way to somehow integrate into the parks, that I mean, that could be pie-in-the-sky stuff. But if they could do that, that'd be insane. Um, and any kind of utility that they can come up with, uh, and I think even a fidgetal utility. So if you know if somebody were to buy a physical pin, they have a redeemable code, they can get a digital one as well. Or if yeah, you buy the ways. digital one, or the other way, right? You buy the digital one, you will get you will get a physical one somehow either sent to you or at one of these events. If you buy it and you show that you bought it, it's in your wallet, then they'll give you the physical on the spot. So they, I'm sure they can come up with some ways to make that work. And I think that Disney Pinnacle, if they keep doing what they're doing, they got to get to this global release because we need to hear from them. They need to come on our channel and they need to talk <laughs> about Disney Pinnacle. And that can't happen though until they're ready. So they got to get ready fast because we are waiting the people, yeah. the superstars, we are waiting to hear from them. Uh, I got high expectations for this company. I think that they're going to do big things. And I think we're going to start to hear about it at D23. I, I mean, I hope so. D23 would be a great place to announce this. There were rumors about the global release being in November for some reason. I can't remember where we picked that up. But D23, I mean, it's not that far. Like, Okay, November is a few months away, whatever. But it would be a great place to do the announcement when you have all these Disney people in one spot at that time. The other big thing is like they're their own booth. They they're not attached to any other booths. They they're pretty big presence in that location, uh, right beside the pin store. I feel like I don't know. I'm just I think I think this is the time. I think this is the beginning of uh, of of big things for Blizzard Pinnacle. We might be wrong, but uh, I mean coming out there when they haven't talked to anybody, haven't done any like you mentioned, no interviews, haven't done any of that stuff, and now they're going to be there where anybody can just approach their booth and ask questions. I think the time is now. I think they're ready. I think. I think that global launch is around this, the corner, uh, and uh, and they're just gearing up now. This might be the biggest day in their history. That this might, might be, be the, the title. That might be this, the title. This might be the biggest day in Disney Pinnacle history. <laughs> do we know what day? Do we know what day D twenty three is? I is don't it, know. I gotta find out. We, yeah. We're gonna look it up. I, I whenever it is, that might be the biggest day of their history. So, guys, let us know in the comments below. What do you August guys 9th think? August ninth to eleventh next week. Okay, so August 9th may be the biggest day in Disney Pinnacle <laughs> history. Guys, oh, let yeah. us know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Uh, do you guys think Disney Pinnacle is about to go for a global release uh, on August 9th? Do you think that being located immediately adjacent to the physical pin booth is going to be a, an amazing marketing stunt and to help grow their digital side? Let us know in the comments below if you haven't already. Don't forget, become a superstar. Smash the subscribe button. Join the superstar fam. Hit the bell and to get every single video, every single day. We do not miss. We're here for you. Every single day, we're knocking on a thousand videos. We're coming soon. Also, thank you so much, Superstar VIPs, for all your support over the years. We really appreciate your support. All the super duper rares, the dedication, two years straight, guys. Thank you so much. Take care. See you next one. Love Bye. You. Bye.